what is up guys i'm um, just for that make a quick update video for you guys um so over the last couple of days um i like you saw in the previous videos i converted the car back to na and then we did some tuning um, um it was good because i needed to dial in my ignition um because of some crank pulley issues um i ended up with some interesting findings um the car made a bit well let's just say the power is a bit on the low side um ended up with a peak of around 76 wheel horsepower i was expecting somewhere in the low 80s um this may be due to the the age of the engine the engine has somewhere um about 300 thousand um, kilometers which would be somewhere close to 180,000 miles um the power may be due to the the turbo being left on while the car was any um, i mean the in the exhaust path um but no boost enter in the engine so the turbo itself could have been a restriction who knows but overall i ended up with 76 wheel horsepower and then i converted the car to back to turbo and then uh, we saw some interesting gains let me just yeah let's look at what we ended up with on the com computer screen so this is what we're working with um we have two graphs um one with a peak of 70 wheel horsepower which is the red one and the second with a peak of 76 wheel horsepower the only difference between the two graphs well let me show you down here fuel ratios are pretty much the same the only difference is just the higher one the blue one with the 76 peak wheel horsepower had an extra two or three degrees if i recall correctly thrown at it so we picked up some power in the top not much about six wheel horsepower in the top but um it's pretty pretty exciting to see the least extracting power out of a 70 or 80 wheel horsepower motor then we converted to turbo and let me show you what we ended up with okay so these are the turbo poles you can see um hot they were these poles are almost back to back. One is at twelve forty five, the other one is at twelve fifty four. Um, we can see a peak of one hundred and forty five wheel horsepower and one hundred and fifty two foot pound torque, and the other is one hundred and forty six wheel horsepower and one hundred and fifty three foot pounds of torque. So pretty accurate. Um, you can see the torque and horsepower curves are almost identical, with the blue one being a bit wavy that is mainly due to my air fuel ratios being a bit wavy and that is a result of my injector voltage um, corrections being a bit off at that on that pole my my coolant fan my radiator fan sorry came on so it threw air fuel ratios a bit rich but ultimately the power was pretty consistent and it remained the same so pretty healthy gains that's about 70 give or take wheel horsepower and torque from seven and a half they about psi of boost uh, my left ignition a bit soft um because i uh, these motors are known for pushing coolant and blowing head gaskets with aggressive ignition so it's a bit soft i wouldn't say conservative i would just say a bit soft um well, they, that means about the same thing but yeah you get what i'm saying um yes yeah, so it may have picked up well in my previous video you saw that i had about 150 wheel that was with an additional three or four degrees of timing so we made about five wheel horsepower less and about five foot pound less with about four wheel horsepower we sorry for about four degrees of ignition less so yes in this um interestingly we saw more gains in fuel ratio changes than actual ignition we had some pretty healthy gains with ignition but with fuel ratio um i noticed that around peak torque which would be somewhere around here it loves the richer fuel ratios likes to be high 12s um, high 11s bottom 12s like I was saying, around peak torque, it seems to like the richer fuel ratios. And even at peak horsepower, it seems to like 
richer FL ratios than what I would consider running normally. Right? So let me get another graph so we can do can wrap this video up. Yes, and just for your amusement and entertainment, um, we have the two graphs comparison. We have the NA, best NA pull, 76 wheel horsepower and 75 foot pound torque, which is the red graph. And the top one, the blue, is the best turbo pull, 45 wheel horsepower and 52 foot pounds of torque. About 7, 7.5 PSI thereabout. So pretty impressive for NA D15B non VTEC motor. The multiple clips. Um, I'm actually okay. I'm actually recording if an old cell phone and old Samsung S4. For some reason that it just heats up really quick. So it just cuts off my recording midway. Uh, so sorry about patching multiple clips together. I'm, uh, I have a GoPro but that took a crap on me. So I'm just doing the best with what I have. Um, so yeah, so D15B, bone stock, non VTEC motor, 76 wheel horsepower, mainly due to, I think, should have probably picked up an extra 5, you never know, maybe with a better exhaust system instead of just the turbo, I probably picked up an extra 5 horsepower, but it is what it is, um, 76 horsepower, and then we ended up with about 145 thereabouts, with some, I, I hate using the word conservative, but with some, soft tuning so yeah um pretty simple um the next step i just picked up a boost controller i don't have it with me now an electronic boost controller i have a manual on the car but okay word of caution guys do not buy ebay cheap manual boost controllers they don't work um with like half a turn i get like an extra pound of boost and then maybe an extra half a turn i'm hitting boost cut with somewhere about additional 6 PSI, so that cannot work. So I picked up a manual Mac solenoid valve, and we're gonna be throwing that on, and then we're gonna be up in the bus. Final goal, I'm hoping for maybe 15 to 16 PSI. We'll see if the, the block lets go. Um, we do have the backup block, just in case, but we're hoping for somewhere around 200 wheel, there about, anything over 200 will just be icing on the cake. Yeah, so stick around for that journey. And I was told to tell you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, if that works. But um, thanks for all the support, guys. All the messages, the emails, the comments. Um, you guys are the best. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Stay safe.